David Bonson, chief investment officer at the Bonson Group, expects Intel's challenges to stick around for a while. Yeah, I think Intel uh, is a name that we own and they guided uh, lower, just did one of those sort of intra-quarter uh, expectation announcements that so they do continue to want to caution uh, on a guidance basis that there's a challenging environment. I think long-term investors in Intel are aware that this is going to be the case for a couple of years, that before they can sort of realize the profits from the investment they're making into chip manufacturing, that there's going to continue to be an outlay of cost that's going to impact margin. And so that's weighing on Intel a bit today. Uh, Amazon is a name we don't own um, and never have, and yet believe that they're in a secular period of having to deal with the fact that most of the good news, and there's been plenty of it, has been well priced in. And yet somewhat minor bad news becomes big bad news when your uh, valuations are so high. And Amazon faces more competitors in the e-commerce space than they ever have. That puts downward pressure on margins. And then when you factor in anything that isn't going perfectly in their web services business, that sort of contracts the forward multiple of Amazon as well. So with all that said, you're still talking about a company that obviously is down about 30% on the year and yet is still trading at 60 times earnings. So uh, there's, there's nothing cheap about Amazon. There have been very few days this year that energy was down when the market was up. And a very few days, frankly, where energy was uh, down when the market was down. And so you look at some of the larger producers and oil prices today up over 2% and the realization that these high oil prices, even if they come off of the kind of 120 level they're sitting at now, it's very clear that markets are having to price in an entrenched higher oil price, significantly higher margins, and this is having its impact upstream and in midstream energy as well. I think the inflation story stays in the news as long as energy prices are this high. And yet, in reality, energy price inflation may very well prove to be a very different story than other types of inflation, particularly in consumer goods. So the CPI number, the consumer price index, will come on Friday. And I think you'll have a lot of traders and, and uh, algorithmic players looking to see if there's any lowering in CPI that indicates maybe the Fed may not have to hold on so long to a tightening posture. But uh, the story of inflation is a political one. It's an economic one. And ultimately, right now, it's a monetary one. And so we have to follow it on all fronts.